Good morning, students of Minority Salem Language School. Students of Fourth Primary for the same. Today we will start with Lesson Three in Unit One, which talks about the cell and the building unit of living organisms body. Before we talk about the cell, the human body consists of many systems like digestive system, respiratory system, circulatory system, and each system of them consists of organs like we take in digestive system which consists of mouth, pharynx, esophagus, and so on. And each organ of them consists of tissues, and each tissue consists of a smaller part called cell. The cells of the living organisms is divided according to the type of the living organism. As we have a multicellular living organism, where the body of the living organism consists of number of cells, and like human, animals, and the plants, and in some types, the whole body consists of one cell, which called unicellular living organism, like bacteria and yeast fungus. We have two types of cell. The cell which builds the human body or the animal body is called the animal cell, and it consists, as shown in the figure, from four main components which are the plasma membrane which is the outer part or the outer layer of the cell which control the substances that enter or leave the cell inside the cell we have nucleus the nucleus organize or control all biological processes occur inside the cell and we also have cytoplasm and it's a liquid or a fluid that fills the whole cell and all biological operations occurs inside it and finally we have small vacuoles in the other side the plant body consists of plant cells so the plant cell is a building unit of plant body and it consists of outer layer which called cell wall and after that plasma membrane and inside it we have nucleus cytoplasm and a large sub vacuum and also green plastids or chloroplast which gives the plant its green color and helps the plant during the photosynthesis process Let's talk about the unicellular living organism and take as an example the yeast fungus. The yeast fungus consists of four main parts, the outer cell wall and it has also nucleus and it has cytoplasm and a large vacuole and the yeast fungus is used in making bread and alcohol. Let's start with lesson 4 that talks about the importance of sunlight to all living organisms. Before we start talking about the sunlight, let's start with the plant. The plant is <coughs> needs the sunlight to make a very important process called the photosynthesis process during which the plant makes its own food and also produce oxygen. How does that happen? The plant takes water and the minerals from the soil through its roots and take carbon dioxide from the air and sunlight and inside it <coughs> it makes these components to form its own food and also produce oxygen. We have three types of living organisms which are producers, consumers, and decomposer. Let's start with the meaning. What's the meaning of producers? The producers are the living organisms that can make its own food, like plants. All the green plants can make its own food by itself, so it's called producers or autotrophic. Number two, the consumers. 
The consumers are the living organisms that depend on producers directly by eating the green plants directly like cows, sheep, and human, or indirectly like human also, snake, lion. <coughs> The third type is called the decomposers and the decomposers are the living organisms that depend on feeding or decomposing the organic wastes like dead bodies or the food remains and there is many importance for the decomposers like they help to get rid of the dead bodies or the plant remains they increase the soil fertility and they used in many industries like yogurt industry.